I'm the Halloween horror host who decided to start a little thing like a Halloween hunt. Derek. And I'm the scariest fairy of them all, Kevin. And we are at Knott's Scary Farm for the 50th anniversary of the event. This is the OG original Halloween hunt. So when you think about Halloween Horror Nights, you think about Fright Fest. Or try not to think about Fright Fest. Or you think of any Halloween haunted attraction. The roots started it's here. here. It's in Buena st- Park, California. This is the original, and they are celebrating their 50th year. We are going to go and check out as many of the new attractions as we can. We're going to check out entertainment, some food. So join us as we take you beyond Beyond the the turnstile of terror. Okay, so we just went through the gates. Um, they, we bought the season passes for this event. So we're, we're pass holders for Osprey Farm, so we did an add-on to our pass ticket. Yeah, so um, it's a little bit different. Um, the pricing on this event, it is separately ticketed, so um, you, do, you can buy a single night ticket, you can buy express passes. We do not have express passes because we purchased a season ticket for this, uh, for Scary Farm. And unlike uh, Six Flags, if you watch our Six Flags video, they do sort of kick you out at 6.30 if you don't have a Scary Farm Pass. Unlike where at Six Flags, if you have general day admission, it's fine because you have to get a wristband that's separately ticketed. Here, I mean, there was a woman in front of us we saw that they were like, you have the wrong ticket, you gotta go. Yeah. Um, so just be aware of that. Yeah. Don't think you can get a, a regular ticket and sneak on in. Yeah, just Knock make sure you've got that. the right kind of ticket for yeah, the event. That's right. uh, so they, they are holding folks. We are actually going to... Um, skip the opening ceremony, which is very cool and definitely something you should try to see if you are here. But we are getting here a little bit later than we originally intended, so there are more people already in line waiting to see that. So we're actually going to head into the the Chilling Chambers, which is based off of the original maze that they opened at the very first Knott's Haunt here. Um, and that is a, a brand new maze for this year. We're gonna check that out. We'll show you a little bit of that, but um, we're also gonna show you more of that in our breakdown of all of SoCal's haunts. So be sure to check out that video as well. While we wait to go into the maze, I do think this is a good opportunity to talk a little bit about the bag policy here at Not Scary Farm. So we do have a very strict bag policy. It's stricter than any of the other Halloween haunts. Um, you can go online and find the specific specifications. It's generally pretty similar to a stadium. So I think a 12 by 12 bag with a six inch um, gap in there that's clear, or you can do a much smaller wallet size bag. Um, if you want to bring that into the park, they are checking. Um, they are, there's also a chaperone policy in place. So um, you can find the details of that on Knox's website, but you do need a chaperone if you are, I believe it's under the age of 16, here without a visit. Just something to keep in mind. Um, I did get this little clear coffin bag, um, which meets the specifications on the team. It was like $6, um, and it works pretty well for this. So um, just keep that in mind. They do sell bags inside of the Nuts uh, Marketplace, so you can check that out as well. Ha, 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 ha. 
just got out of the chilling chamber. That was so great. Oh my god. It was in, incredible. Incredible. Um, incredible. And maybe the longest maze I've ever been yeah, through. Yeah, a couple of times I was just like, oh, there's more? Yeah, oh, it, it went, I, I was looking at the you know the video counter and it was at eight minutes. And I was like, yeah. wow, I don't think I've ever been through a maze that's this long. Um, and honestly, amazing start to finish. Yeah. Um, yeah. There yeah. were maybe a couple scenes where there weren't scare actors yet, right, but right. even then it was still incredible. And, and I, I think you get that with any house you go through first thing. Like, I don't think everyone's here right at seven, ready to go. I think particularly Knott's Berry Farm uses a lot of their, I'm calling them berry pickers, berry farmers. I don't know what they call their, their cast members, um, but their, their employees who work regular positions throughout the day um, can also be scary farm actors. So you're not going to get them right at seven, but even so, there was a lot of sort of uh, prop work that happened. There was a lot of really cool effects. It was scary though, because they just had like technicians standing in corners sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. You have, so right, well, let's go check out some more stuff, but uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this one in our SoCal review. So be sure to check that out. But it was great. If you come, you should do it. You should do it. You should For do sure. it first. Yep. <laughs> we're not in product. No, no, no. So we are heading now into the second of the three new mazes, um, and this is Cinema Slasher, which we've seen a couple previews of this online, and it looks really, really cool. And this was actually the location of Dark Ride last year, which was, I think, my least favorite maze. So really excited to see what they do. Kevin is scared. Huh? Kevin is scared. I am, I am apprehensive. Not scared, apprehensive. Not scared. Ha! Ha! You're so funny! <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. To get ourselves a
thing I said? Okay, so we just got a slasher cinema. Oh, it was so, oh my God, it was so good. It was incredible. I mean, uh, 
the mazes this year are it re, the, every new maze so far has been outstanding. Yes, I, yes, hundred percent. Like and, things, things I didn't think Knott's Berry Farm was capable of. Quite frankly, oh, I never doubted them because their mazes are really good. But these yes, but are, there, but there, there are. I mean, you'll see because we put the footage in. But there are large scale puppets this year that I don't remember in any of the mazes last year. Really, there's a lot more air effects and and something that maybe this was true last year and I just don't remember it. These are long. Yeah, long, long. Like when you think it should be over. There are five more rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. I love it. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, there comes a point where you're like, okay, oh, shit, there's more. And it's, I mean, it's so much fun. Yeah. It was, this it's just, they're, 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 they're long. They're this long. this yeah. one was, in case you couldn't tell, was you go into a movie theater, you're transported into the movies, and there were sort of like classic slasher movie tropes. Is yeah. Kind of what Jason. you Jason. There's a psycho one. There's a uh, Michael, Michael Myers esque. Uh, uh, Leatherface type situation. And I know what you did last summer. Yeah. Like these archetypes that exist. Yeah. I honestly, you know, just thinking about, like, we'll rate all the mazes we go through tonight at the end, but that was really incredible. What was your favorite part of this one? Um, I The boat? I The boat the wasn't boat necessarily boat. the scariest, but it was one of those most. I think I love in these mazes. One of the reasons I loved events like this is. I'm always blown away by the production and what people are putting together. And to be on a dock where there is a boat there yeah. and a sea captain and the water yeah. really just blew me away. It was so incredible. Um, Knott's is really... Knott's is knocking it, knocking it out of the park. A 10 out of 10. I love it. It's so good. All right. There is one more new maze. I think we should go do that next. Okay. And then maybe we'll get a snack. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, so we are about to go into room 13. Yes, <laughs> this I believe is the uh, Roaring Twenties themed maze question mark there seems to be some debate about that so obviously you'll be able to tell in just a minute here but we're excited oh, that's wrong. Wrong. jump ship i did i did oh no we're coming are you on the same crew no oh yeah Woo! <laughs> 
last of the new mazes this year. It's like a hotel, haunted hotel, speakeasy yeah, type r- vibe. Roaring 20s. Very cool. I really enjoyed it. It smells. Yeah, it smelled like bacon at one point, which was nice, and then some other things at another point, which was not nice. They had like dirt, dirty laundry. There's a laundry room that yeah. smelled kind of funky. Like I don't smell. know what it is with the haunts this year and smells. A lot of smells. But they're, doing, smells. they're doing the smells. I still really, really enjoy that one. Yeah, not, as, fun. not as much as the other two. Yeah, but... I think of the new three, this is sort of my least favorite of the new three. Yeah. But that's that's like saying, do you need candy and sodas and popcorn? And candy or, and sodas? You know what we're talking about. You know what we're talking about. You'll put the clip in. I'll put the clip in. Um, Why don't we all go and have some, some candy and uh, sodas and ice cream no i thought that was great um it's i think all three houses the new houses are great this year yes um we should try to maybe find something to eat or drink because i'm starting to get a little hungry i'm also starting to get hungry let's go get snack yay I got the spaghetti pie. Um, this is a white cream sauce with sausage, um, breadcrumbs, a bolognese. So let's give this a try. I'm um, excited to try this out. This is one of the many unique food offerings they have. This is at Crop Shop Pizza, which is over in the Boring 20s area. Um, it's really cool because you can eat and sort of watch the scare zone and watch people get scared going by, watch the bumper cars a really nice place to eat here at the park. So let's give this uh, a taste and see how it is. Okay, so... Have that. Hmm. It's good. This is Theme Park Pasta. So I don't know that this is the most exciting thing you could get. Um, they do have a lot of like really interesting, strange food this year. There's like tur- uh, turtle pizza and a bunch of other stuff. That's a little much for me, but um, this is almost too safe of an option, but I think it tastes good on an, the ticket scale. I would say that this is probably a C ticket. It's pretty pretty solid in the middle. Not too exciting. Won't offend you. I would say kids would like this. Not that you should be probably bringing your kid to this event, but I like it. Good, good, enough, good enough for government work.
not see shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's why we're selling the So we've gotten cocktails. We're gonna have to watch our SoCal recap to hear about these cocktails. Woo there's a there's a story, um, but we are now I think gonna head over to check out the Legacy Store, yeah. which is brand new for this year for the 50th anniversary, um, and is like built out and themed and like not just you know. A yeah, store. if you follow Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando, they do these big themed tribute stores. Tribute stores, yeah. And Knotts is doing that for the first time this year. I'm really excited to see it. I, it's been open for a few weeks, but we haven't had a chance to come see it. So we should go look at. It. We're gonna Let's go check that out. Our drinks. Yeah. So this area is sort of the haunt alley, though there are multiple mazes over here. This is a Ghost Rider, um, and this is also where during the event you can access the Legacy Store. Wow. Oh wow, this is cool. So for those who don't know, Elvira was actually um, the host of a show here at Not Scary Farm for, I, I want to say, many, many years. Um, up until just a couple years ago, yeah. Last show was in uh, 2017, so they have a whole little display here with her couch and costumes. Very cool. So here's a whole display for Sinister Seymour, who was the original host. And this year, you can see that they have an icon who is sort of a tribute to the original Seymour who passed away um, a few years into the event from cancer. great in here. So we went into the next room and this is sort of like a cemetery looks like. This is amazing. They did a really good job in here. Oh, the chilling chambers. Amazing. Hatchet High, Revenge of the Dead. Very fun. Whole selection here of pumpkin stuff. Get your 50th Knots branded merch, which is very cool. I will definitely be getting some of that. So, this year there are some very high profile new things. So, there's a Scary Farmopoly. So, this is a 
Monopoly for Not Scary Farm, which is very cool. And then there's this new book, The History of Not Scary Farm. We heard about this a little bit at uh, Midsummer Scream. And then for the first time ever, there is a lounge fly. Um, this is a real lounge fly. It's got the lounge fly branding and everything. And this is for Not Scary Farms. Very cute. Okay. She's modeling. <laughs> Oh wow, those are super cute. I love this. Yeah, there's a, a limit of two per guest on these, so uh, Disney, you should also do that. Yeah, well, Disney should do a lot of things. Ooh. All right, and so now we're going to go into the Carnival area. Wow, this is so cool. Spooky. <laughs> All right, so we stopped in at the Knott's Bakery yeah. and I got this rotten skull here. I got a witch's finger, which looks oddly like a pretzel. <laughs> so we're going to give these a try and we'll see how they are. I'm sure that they're delicious. This yeah. is a brownie. That's with... a brownie. This is a pretzel. Yeah. Well, what's not to like? Mm. A, little, a little more than a pretzel. You got a surprise. It's this... laced with caramel. Caramel in there. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Like a Twix. That is unusual. It's like a Twix, but with pretzel instead of cookie. It's good though. Yeah. That was, that's something special. Oh my god. That's good. Okay, so you didn't really get a glamorous shot of it, but look how pretty she is. Very excited. Hmm. Hmm. That's great. It kind of has like um, like a, a better than this, but a hostess quality to it. It's like really soft, really moist. It tastes like something your nan might make, you know, around uh, Halloween time. Can't miss. I lo I love nuts. It has such like an old timey like down home feeling, and you can't really get stuff like this. Even at Disney, it's like a little bit more mass produced than this. Even though I'm sure there's a thousand of those in this back room, but still. Super good. I loved it. All right. Well, are that, you sufficiently scared? I am sufficiently scared. That is going to be it for our first video here at Not Scary Farm. I am definitely going to come back and we yeah. will shoot an additional video covering more mazes. Um, and I also want to tell you guys a little bit more about the history behind this event. Since it's the 50th anniversary, we are going to um, have a lot of content just to yeah. talk about that. Um, we'll also be updating on our different food offerings and all those things on TikTok. So make sure that you give us a follow on there, as well as all of our other social media. So, you know, this video was really just to go through the, the three new houses. Yeah. Um, and to try a couple of new things that are here on sort of the first time we are here. Today's a Saturday, so we might come back midweek. Um, try it again with some different people, some different things, some different mazes. Um, but we definitely wanted to make sure that we got the three new mazes for you so that if you are deciding to come to Not Scary Farm, you sort of know what's in store, especially if you've been before. Not Scary Farm does, um, and I think Six Flags is the same way, where a lot of houses repeat year to year. We were going through Legacy Store, and there were definitely people who were like, oh, I remember that house the last time I was here in 2013 or whatever, which is very cool. Yeah. Um, but it just means when they update a house, it's even more special. So we wanted to bring that to you guys. Yeah, and we're going to show you guys more of the scare zones, more of the offerings. So uh, keep an eye out for more Not Scary Farm videos all season long. We're also going to be covering some of the family-friendly content. So we will be going to Not Spooky Farm, which is a separate event yep. that is handled during the day. Um, and that will be in our SoCal Family Event video. So make sure that you check that out as well. I have had the most wonderful evening. I hope you you did too, Kevin. I did. I'm I'm not looking forward to the freeway, but <laughs> it, you know, if I can stand in line for Cinema Slasher, I think I can conquer the 91 freeway. So, 
I think that is the scariest thing of all. So be sure to uh, follow us on all social media. Comment. Uh, like, like. Comment. All the, all things. the things. They really help us out. And tell us, tell us below, if you come to Not Scary Farm, what was your favorite house? What was your favorite scare zone? What did we miss that you would recommend we do? Um, or that you would recommend other people do? Just let us know below or send us a message on Instagram or TikTok. Because we want to know from you what we are missing. We do the things we like to do and what we think people would like to see. But, you know, I'm a big scaredy cat. You'll notice we didn't go through the carnival scare zone today. But maybe that's your favorite and you tell us. Let us know. All right, guys. So be sure to watch our other videos and we'll see you on the next turnstile of terror. Bye. Bye.